It's happy hour at the banter bar. So let's get into it. All right. So here you go. I don't know what it is, okay. but I will read the questions. It's a pretzel stout. Oh, Martin House. A Martin House pretzel stout. Limited release peanut butter. Oh my gosh. Peanut okay. Butter. How delightful. <laughs> I'm not a fan of I'm not a fan of peanut butter flavored things all the time, but peanut butter pretzel mm. put all of that in my face. You like darks though. That's I do like darks. Smells like peanut butter. Pretzel. That's our, that's our question. <clears throat> What's the greatest gaming console of all time? Mm. I'm not gonna like lie. This shit. smells like uh, the Belching Beavers peanut butter stuff. Okay. We didn't get to try. We only had the Mexican. Oh, my. Why does this remind me of Halloween? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's because it tastes like candy. Oh. Th- there you go. Tastes like Reese's. No, it tastes like Take Five with the pretzel. It does taste exactly like a Take Five. Mm-hmm. She's it's, spot on with that. It's not stick of honey. What's the other Is bit of honey? Bit, bit of honey that I'm thinking of? Yeah, no, it definitely has a nice... Um, it, this also has like a caramely, caramely taste. The scent of these always reminded me of Nutter Butters. Like the, oh, it's just, just in liquid form. <clears throat> it's very pronounced peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, if I had to choose like between a piece of cake or this for dessert, that's that's what I see this for as like a dessert beer. Yeah. I don't think I could drink a whole one, I would but gladly it's, drink a whole one. it's definitely fun to try. Um, probably say a five. It's got some super dark coffee note undertone going on that I really enjoy on top of the, you know, just the kids candy chocolate peanut butter stuff that's happening. It's, it feels complex. I'm, I still have to refer back to the take five thing. That was that was spot on. I'm gonna go seven. I want to go higher, but seven sounds right, beer wise. I'm gonna I'm gonna go five, just because yeah, I don't think I could drink a whole one. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely novelty, so I yeah I enjoy it, but yeah, this is not gonna be in my fridge. Can tell I just had a six pack of IPAs. I can drink the piss <laughs> Anything out of this. better yeah, than yeah. what you just went through. <laughs> mm. So, what's the greatest gaming console of all time? <laughs> Who wants to? I'm gonna say first? Sega Genesis. That's personally Sega. my favorite. Just Sega. There's something so satisfying. I get so pissed off when I start a Sega game these days, and it just shows the logo, but it, the music's not there. Mm. Why am I even fucking playing this right now? That's a tease. I couldn't do that. I could yeah. not. Mm-mm. Greatest of all time, though. I want to say Nintendo, just because it's been around for so long, and it's just kind of classic. But I might have to say the PS3. I enjoyed a lot of the games that were out on PS3. I'm actually going to agree with you because PS3, it brought a lot of stuff forward with it from the Mm -hmm. earlier consoles and a lot of classic gaming stuff too, but it also was the introduction for... I know a lot of people had PS2 online memories. Nothing like the PS3 for me. Absolutely nothing. And the fact that most of those games got shut down... Yeah. Just so they could make way for this newer, not as newer. good shit. Yeah. So they could make more money. That that says everything to me. Uh, classic consoles? I don't know. I didn't have a Genesis growing up. I had friends who had Segas, and it was great to go to their houses on the weekends and play Genesis games. There was just something about being able to play Mario games that I always... Yeah. Oh, legend. Yeah. 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 But you also, I, I, I don't remember being able to play Spot. That used to piss me off real bad. Like as a kid, like I wanted to play Full 7 Up Hero or whatever. Oh, yeah, it was. yeah. Like I just had to have it. <laughs> anyway, PS3. That's where I am. All right. I own the most <laughs> games on the PS4, I will say that. 
Well. Unless you count the Nintendo Wii, which has its own library, and then Genesis, SNES, NES, 64. Maybe it's the Wii. I've been drinking. Let's continue. I'm going to pass this this way again. Oh, okay. Fleisberger? Oh, Fleis, Fleis, Flinsberger? Is it? Is the there N, N silent? In there? No. There's an N, yeah. There's an N. Flinsberger Weizen. Flinsberger Weizen. We probably yeah. butchered that name. Ooh. Drunk but, brain erases hey. the N. Nobody's going to care if the beer's good. I care. It's coming off a of pretzel style. It fucking better be good. I just wanted to clean my tongue a little bit. You still have water there. I do. Else. I want beer to clean it, though. So, yeah. our question is would you rather screw someone who had no fingers or no toes? <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to go into this beer first. I don't know what's so funny. What are you guys laughing at? I just feel like it's a given. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Although now it's got my mind thinking and... I don't know. I might have something else to to think uh, about don't here. Don't change the answer just to be contrarian. No, no, it's not that. I just have a lot of, a lot of considerations. Flinsberger Weizen. No fingers are going to tips. I'm like, first drink. There's a hint of lime to me. It's very European, my opinion. But it's light. Smells European. Like you can tell that the grains are high quality. That's what I'll say. It's a it's a smooth beer, but it's a watery beer. It's loose, like bad doo doos. Is that what you're? I I don't know that I'd go that far, but it's loose? it's weak. Loose, yeah, loose is a good word. See, Holly, I never thought I'd be at a table with you and say loose doo doos, but here we are. <laughs> Life is And I'm strange. over here like, yeah, loose doo doos. It, loose doo doos makes sense. <laughs> I'm stuck in the middle of this. <laughs> Uncomfortable is where I want you, um, sir. With my experience the past couple of weeks, hot outside, working outside, if I was to come home, and have a couple of these in the fridge, it would be very refreshing. Yes. Um, I think I would go a six. It's, it's good. The malt character is just right for me. It's not heavy. It's right in the medium realm. And that, that European character to it, I enjoy it here. I really do. And I think that's a genuine import, right? So I'm not just making things up. They have to abide The by Global it. Beer Network. Purity laws, beer snobs eat your heart out. Yeah, that's a that's a solid seven. I could probably go higher, but it's not. It doesn't punch you in a memorable way. It's just good in a way that I could drink a shit ton of it. What's your thoughts, Holly? I, you know, I, I'm just not feeling this one. I'm giving it a three. I, I'm rating it low. There's just something that's like, it's it's it's. Is the smell and it's linked to something that I'm just, just not jiving with me. She was an not American a fan of beer. girl. <laughs> it's jokes. Okay. Come on. Moving on to our question: Would no. you rather screw someone with who had no fingers or no toes? That threw me off completely. I was gonna. I'm gonna say mm, no toes. I was going to say that the malt character in this could be <laughs> off-putting to a certain type of drinker, but now we're on to this fun questionio. No toes. I, I said no toes. I, I would rather have them. You ain't worried about toes fingers, anyway, right? So yeah. Okay. Obvious. Let's hear it. Oh, uh, after giving this a lot of thought, because I really thought it was obvious, and then I had to think. I, I'm still thinking no toes. Although the idea of looking down at a foot and not seeing toes <clears throat> makes me want to go fingers. Well, yeah. 
I get that the functionality <laughs> of fingers is Useful. primarily what's appealing. <laughs> yeah. Like I know women historically who maybe like the finger play more than anything else. Whether okay, okay. that's well, not me though. No, it's not. No, so I wanted to think like no, that's maybe fingers are not like a necessity. Maybe I'd rather have toes. Yeah, maybe I'd rather have toes. Yeah. <laughs> have you had toes? <laughs> it's, My God. Uh, uh, it's different. Um, <clears throat> I'm not saying that I would say toes because I've given toes. It's that I like feet. I'm that weird fucker. So toes are a must. I've actually had a lacking finger before, and I didn't mind it because she had nice toes. So, what is happening? We have an IPA next. That's we the do news. have an IPA next, and I'm gonna pass it Seven this way. Seven more fingers. So. <laughs> In the real world, you're most likely to have both. Though that's the good news. You're gonna have toes and fingers. Question for me is, which would you rather have excess of? Fingers or toes? Excess of. Oh. That one's... Toes. That's not the question, That'd so... I figure you have better balance that way, right? Maybe. He's got more to stand on. Our new awesome. question, <laughs> since we're moving on, is if you were a judge, what would you have a reputation for? Like in the courtroom or in general? I guess in general. Yeah, generalizations have to be the name of the game for these questions. Um, not as fun of a question as our last question, but if you were a judge. Quantum leap beyond the IPA. I like this one better than the previous one. This one is not for the faint of hops. According to the says. can. <laughs> this one's very patriotic. Even the smell on this one, it builds itself way beyond its I just want to say I'm not a fan of the Deep Ellum Blonde Ale good job Deep Ellum what's wrong with the Blonde out of Dallas um I'm with you on this I'm with you it, on it's, this I don't know is that what this one is no it's not it looks like it it does right? look like <laughs> it um I'm just not a fan I don't I don't like it I don't remember it but so. To be fair. Okay. That, that's that's probably Dallas why. Dallas Blondes, it's, I don't really remember. This one has a sweet sweetness to it that helps the bitterness of the hops. Is this one called Rye Crusher, or am I dreaming that up? This one is called Dream Crusher, two-time two time rye IPA. And I'm a, I'm a fan of rye beers anyway, and maybe that's what's coming out to me. Okay. So, it's it's a weak IPA. It's a strong fucking malt, heavy caramel, high alcohol percentage beer. It's tasty. Yeah, I enjoy it. I give it a seven. Um, I I still go back to rating it on like a six pack, and I think it's a bit much to drink a whole six pack. But I could drink the whole beer. I'm going to stick with a six. It builds itself really scarily. And I think that's what keeps my rating where it's at. Because it's, it's tasty. Mm -hmm. You know, I could see going seven if you took nothing else into account but the taste. But it's really trying to, like, push itself. as like, we're going to fucking push you through the wall sort of. It's a five. I The other okay. problem for me, I would say six, but five because, yeah, I couldn't drink a six-pack of this. I've actually tried. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I, yeah, I bought a six-pack of it because I couldn't <clears throat> find it solo. I was like, Dream Crusher, I gotta try that 2X Rye. It's malty as shit. It's caramelly. It's mm -hmm. fairly light on the IPA. So if you don't like hop it oil, is. but you like dark, good breads... This is a good one for you. Just don't expect to drink a whole bunch. There's enough sweetness to it, like I said, to get rid of that IPA bitterness. So. 
I feel like this is probably one of the better IPAs I've ever had. It's more it's unique, that's for damn sure. Well, that's probably why I like it. Yes. I got that palate. It's just... <laughs> and I love dark bread. Oh, yeah, the rye. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, you're in for some surprises then if you stick around. <laughs> so, if you were a judge, what would you have a reputation for? Bro, I just saw one of the beers that's coming up. I can't handle it. Okay. A coconut stout that's 12%. Hmm. As a judge, I would be known, I think, for having no patience whatsoever for parents who can't get their shit together. Okay. I, I kind of felt that way anyway, but now that I'm a parent myself, and maybe it's not fair because I am a specific type of human being and we all have our own. Like, when you have a kid that's your own, you really, it should change you for the better in a way that you are looking out for another human being. And I feel like certain people don't have that characteristic, which is fine. The kids don't think that because they're alive. But, I mean, I lived mostly without a dad, and I didn't enjoy that aspect of it. Mm -hmm. You know? Get your fucking shit together. I, I don't want to be... To relate to a little bit of what's going been going on lately. I don't want to be known as the judge that um, does these high trials like what just happened between oh. Depp and Heard. Uh, high profile. High profile. Yeah. There you go. But maybe there's a judge out of New Jersey, I think it is, who has clips online, YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is, that people will come up, traffic tickets, and they'll explain their situation, and he, he always finds some way to either lower the cost of the ticket or drop the ticket altogether. Um, something like that, just to help out. Just to say, hey, I understand what you're going through in real life. And here's what I'm going to do for you. And I wish I could remember his name. So you're going for understanding? But, yeah, just, just a little bit more everyday life understanding type judge. So. Yeah. That's kind of all I got. If I had Bundy in front of me, I'd totally be, you know, you shouldn't have eaten that second ass. At first, I mean, we're all curious, but I'm joking. Uh, think, What's our think, next beer? I think Bundy ate <laughs> no, a I little bit more than question. just that. Yeah, Holly's on the spotlight yeah. now. Yeah, no, and I've been thinking about it. No, if I were a judge, child molesters. They're getting the maximum, period. And if that maximum is, like, too small. Castration. I'm fighting to get that maximum, like... Raised. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. No. And I know that there's, like, oftentimes things happen, uh, accusations get, like, thrown around, and it's not necessarily true, but for things that are absolutely true, it's like, yeah. I don't understand why a child molester gets, like, two months in prison. And, yeah. Why do yeah. you get to yeah. keep your genitals? That's what I want to know. Yeah. No. Like, take mm -hmm. them. I'm, I'm the judge that takes your genitals, or... Yeah, and if you if you touch children or you hurt children, it's kind of I mean, to walk myself back here. I apologize, but like same with the death sentence. Like there are a lot of people who aren't actually guilty that are, you, you know. So to make light of seriousness, <laughs> Holly's going to be called Judge Genitalia. Judge Genitalia. <laughs> hey, I I also want to say that there um, are sick people. <laughs> And you want to have compassion for people who are sick, but people who harm, yeah, no, I have no fucking tolerance for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. No tolerance. Yeah. An unfortunate reality Judge of Genitalia. our world. <laughs> what? Judge Genitalia. Yeah, it's just now kicking you? <laughs> you missed it till just now? No, I caught it. It's just creeping back up again. Yeah. So moving on, we're going to hand these three this direction. <laughs> the Nito Bandito. Who does this? Now that's some good head. That's this another deep ellum. You got two deep ellums back to back. The coloration should have let me know. Plus the the art, a movable head. <laughs> Hello, stiff is one. there a beer in there? 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I think Shane's inebriated. Y'all are fuck quit lying on me. Look at that. Shmoria's vine. That's one third. Why y'all joke about that first episode? Nito Bandito. That's an interesting yeah. name. Uh, so does the thought of going mudding in a vehicle sound like fun to you? That is our question this round. Eric, do you want to come in here and say yes? <clears throat> I hear you. <laughs> he hears this. That's... This is a Zek-inspired Mexican lager. Ooh. That is two completely different directions to me. It is. Um, it is. It really is, it, is. Is it Zek or... Or, or check, check. I would say Zedge. Look at that shit. Yeah, yours is softer than mine was. Mine was like one third head when I first got it. Very hazy, very unfiltered. Mexican lager. All right, check well, inspired. Mexican. Okay, what does this bill itself has? Mm. Because I'm just tasting it as a beer, and just tasting it out of nowhere. It's fucking phenomenal. Mexican, yeah. it's a Mexican lager, mm. but Czech style. What? I mean, that's, that's a, delicious. Mexican Belgian type, Mexican style lager. Imagine everything south of the border interesting about a drink. But also and, with European flair, yeah, you are in the right department. This yeah. is this is good. It's not dark or heavy or anything like that. But if you're just looking for a good beer, this is a good fucking beer. Agreed. Um, <clears throat> I might be the one that's off on this a little bit. Imagine if it says Mexican lager on it. I've noticed you're, which is weird because you. We're like the Mexican lager fiend when we first found out about no, it. No, no, I'm not. And see, it's not horrible. Aren't we supposed to all. have licorice in this episode? I apologize. That's what it said. It says I will be licorice. right back. I'm a red blooded American. <laughs> okay, well, let's so talk back, about this beer. So back to the beer. Huh? I'm in a house full of people who hate licorice, apparently. Do we want to do that at the end? Is black or? licorice the only licorice, or is, is red considered yeah. licorice also? There's some, there's some other strawberry licorice. Yeah, the red. I like Twizzlers, me. I think it's kind of a strawberry-ish licorice. I don't mind the texture. <laughs> it's just that flavor on the black licorice. So, yeah. So the beer. So the beer. One of the things that I don't like about black licorice is when you get licorice, it's not black licorice, but licorice seeds on like a sausage pizza. Mm. I'm not crazy about that. I don't know why. I don't mind that. See, I, I, I think most people don't. That's what's weird. It's interesting you do, but you'll grab a bag of straight up. I eat licorice. ass. I mean. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you're going to like just licorice. fast <laughs> We we've skipped the beer. We're on to liquor licorice. Like uh, um, there there are just some things I don't like the taste of, and licorice is one of them. Okay. There are other things that are okay. So, <laughs> but I'll try anything twice. I bet you will. <laughs> this beer is really good. I'm not the beer good. the beer is good. Unless you're, it's looking, not the best thing I've had. Exactly. Unless it's you're just, looking for a super heavy, mm -hmm. ultra flavorful coffee type of beer, that's the only place that this wouldn't hit you. I think if you're looking for American, Mexican, European, you can't go wrong here. Yeah. This is just good. They did a great job mm -hmm. of of the inspiration behind mixing two styles with the Mexican lager and the European notes, but... I'm still just going to rate it as a six. It, it's good. It's complex, but not confusing. Yes. So, um, I'm actually going to rate this a little higher and say an eight. I think it's kind of special. I'm going to fall right in the middle. <clears throat> I actually want to say eight because they nailed 
like three continents worth of beer drinkers, I think. Yeah, but they did. But Nito Bandito with a seven is pretty significant. Before we move on, let's rate our um, <laughs> Daryl Leah Soft Australian Licorice, which I've not actually tasted prior to now. Okay, so this is soft eating licorice. It's plant based. This actually non GMO smells... palm oil, no no palm oil, no high fructose corn. Oh, syrup. no palm oil. That's nice. This smells more like this is the seeds that you get on a pizza more than it does like black American licorice. Yes. Okay, this is spicy Italian sausage. Yes. yes. Seasoning. All right. Tasted black licorice. Just what you know. It's black licorice. I'll take it back. I know y'all don't want it. It's licorice. I'm on Holly's side. I hate licorice. Eric thinks this is hilarious. And this is awful. And I taste the plants. Mm hmm. Plants are everywhere. Plant? It is very natural. It's a nice texture. Mm -mm. I know that's not what we're going for. <laughs> wow. I like licorice. I like black licorice a lot. But even this, it's a little overboard for me. It's a combination, I think, of what we all dislike. They like the... They dislike the candy... Black licorice sort of thing, and I just like the seed spice sort of thing. This this mixes it all. If I would give it a three, and I like black licorice, I don't even know if the next beer is going to taste right because that one, bullshit. your rating system one is an awful, and zero is hopeless. Uh. And I think those should be flopped. <laughs> oh, I think we should have a negative. Or uh, add a negative. Awful, that was awful. Mm. Awful might still have some hope. No. I, awful is that it left a, a film and a taste on my tongue and in my mouth. It really did. That's the awful. And I, maybe that's also hopelessness. But... Oh, God. Geralia, you could be a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and when i breathe in it's yeah that was terrible there's a straight up people. coating on in my mouth all right i actually had high hopes for that it's not great so um, right over there? it's yeah. stuck in my teeth <laughs> me out forever. we're gonna move forward because i think everybody needs that flavor out of their mouth i don't even have to read it man. that's called Dude. astronaut Imperial Stout with coconut that's 12%. <gasps> that's called Astronaut Apocalypse. Who does this? So this is the coconut, and this is Martin House? Coconut Stout. And this it's can... Martin House again? This can is fucking cool. It reminds me of 2001. Space Odyssey? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I that's mean, cool. mean to do that. Of course. I just made a mess. That is a thick pour. That is dark. And now Shane's thumbs covered in beer. I'm not going to lie. He said, I eat ass. The taste of my thumb <laughs> was like mild chocolate and coconut cream pie. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That smells like wow. sunscreen. So for this beer, if you were a vampire, y'all, y'all, <laughs> we got to stop. We got to stop. We got to stop. Oh, we're at the city pool so We now. forgot to answer the last question. What's the last question? Does the thought of going mudding in a vehicle sound like sure fun to you? Did. That's what brought me in here. Hell yes. Well, we already answered. Especially if it's not my vehicle. Hell yeah. Get potentially stuck in the mud. Actually, that, that's where I was going to go is yes, as long as it's not my vehicle. Because uh, I don't want to clean it. I don't want to get stuck. No. It gets stuck every time. Whoever's yeah. vehicle it is, it gets stuck every time. If, it's, if, that's not mine. If somebody's going to take me and we're using their vehicle, yeah, I'd go. I've been stuck too many times. That's my problem. It's fun if you're in the right company, which I've been in the wrong company a handful of times. 
Looking at y'all, hydroplaning, fucking staring at the ground. Not Eric. Eric was not me. Eric was fun but safe. Okay, I know plenty of people who were not fun but safe. It just kind of ruined it for me. Okay. That they were safe. And so not you're fun. done. So you're done. I'm reading the next your, question. You've had your mudding experiences. If it was just me in my own vehicle, I'd fucking mud the shit out of anything. I don't give a fuck. It may just be that I'm tasting okay. this beer already. Well, moving on to the beer that we've already poured and the next question. The ne- <laughs> Black Forest Coconut Cream Pie. <laughs> City Pool. So if you were a vampire, what sort of people would you target? Is the question. Did you only eat half that fucking thing I that I gave you? I only ate half. That was that bad. <laughs> This warmed a little oh bit. Oh my god! I feel like it's pretty high on the alcohol content. Twelve percent. Tastes like it. Twelve percent. Um, Imperial stout. It's definitely got the bitterness. The coconut helps bring it down. It does. It does. Um, it's an imperial. Definitely imperial. Ooh. And it needs to be colder. You're right. It, it's warmed up. If it was colder, this would be ten times better. But I'm still kind of tasting black licorice, so. This is taking that licorice right out of my mouth. That is, I appreciate it. Thank you. It that is unique. That is different. Martin House, y'all showed up with pickle beers and sours, but... I've been impressed by them. Everything that I've had, because um, my last name is Martin. So whenever I see Martin House, that's that's what I try. And I've never had anything I just didn't really like. There, there's something here. This is, like you said, the coconut pie, but... Also, like a chocolate cream pie, too. Yeah, I was going to say those two things. Yeah. If you were at Thanksgiving and you had a chocolate cream pie sitting next to a coconut cream pie and you mixed them together, that's this beer, but heavy alcohol content. I can't stress that enough. It's not a bad thing. I think it'd probably be a good thing for most people that are drinking this beer. You need to drink it cold. Warm, it's kind of falling apart. Or topped with whipped cream. I mean, you can definitely see. Put some <laughs> you can definitely space. see how thick it is. <laughs> this is an eight. There's you, something special about this beer. Uh, that's where I stand. It's an eight. I'm gonna say it's good. I'm gonna say it's like a, a six, six, seven. Yeah, as I was gonna say, I'm gonna fall right in the middle of you two. Seven for me. I think if it was super cold, mm-hmm. I'd be in love. High alcohol content means if you bought a six pack, you would get some mileage out of yeah, this. Oh, you definitely would. for sure. Don't eat licorice beforehand, and it'd probably be even better than where we are. Yeah. So if you were a vampire, what sort of people would you target? I feel like I already answered this question on this episode. People who lose their kids. Mm, mm. Okay. What, I, I have no idea what it is. I don't know why that bothers me as much as it does. Well, because... Oh, man, that's another that's, like that's the, another show. Even before I was a parent, like, step up to the plate or don't do it at all. Maybe I'm just an asshole. And I need to be more understanding of people, but... But do you really want that type of blood in your body if you're a vampire? Do you really want to... I mean, I... Is it all about just the killing of those people, or is it about the question? Or is it about the... It says what sort of people would you target. I have to target a certain sort of person. I got nothing but vampires also. But vampires also turn people. Okay. So you, you're going you're going the killing route, not the turning route. Okay, well you're changing my oh, question man. on me then. You want to you're kill. saying what sort of person would I want to turn? I thought we were killing. Okay. It doesn't really say that he's right. Yeah. On. He's it just right. says target. We have to make up our minds here. So mine's already made up. So who would you target? Uh politicians. All of them. Oh, that's a good Any answer. of them. Good I'm not answer. turning any of them. Good answer. I ain't turning any of them. I don't want them. Um, I, I'm. I, I, I could. We pick just any. got banned. 
it from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'll piggyback off of both um, deadbeat parents and politicians. I'll piggyback. You off did that, yeah. You did piggyback off. Yeah. I like it, man. Yeah. No, I'll, yeah. I'll um, say both. Good those. red. What the fuck? Where you been? <laughs> What's our final beer? So our Cody? final beer is a Rice Dwarf Kolsch. I guess I'm saying that right. I'll let you re-say it. I'm going to be honest. My mouth is way too full of flavor right now. That's lasting. To be drinking a fucking Kolsch. It smells like a Belgian wheat beer. If you're looking for someone who's going to tell you something skunked, go to some snob channel and fucking beat off to it. We don't care. <laughs> so our question, <laughs> does the writing or context of porn matter to, at all to you? Does the writing or context of porn matter at all to you? Solid. Toby, does every episode have to have a sexual question in it? Apparently. Or is it just me? It's just your writing. If you've read my Amazon reviews, you might need to worry. Because I am... I'm a sociopath. I'm Ted Bundy. I'm all of these things put together. Like, Who told be, you that? be concerned. Dude, told you that? that's a compliment. All that... Are compliments okay. from the average person? Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like uh, yeah, in agreement here. <laughs> Most people As know a whole, shit. Okay, off off topic advice: If you are a writer who's new to the sphere of writing and publishing and everything else, a creator in general, anyone who's in a creative pursuit, stop caring what other people think. Stop. Do what the fuck you want to do. You will be happy. Stop reading those negative reviews. Stop caring about... Just stop. Just do what you want to do. You wrote the book you wanted to write because you wanted to read it. That somebody else didn't... Fuck them. Okay? One of you is eating ass on the side. One of you is not. If you know you're not, you're good. And I mean like really eating ass. Not like... Eating ass. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. I shouldn't make facial gestures. Oh my god. So I think a Kolsch, if I'm <laughs> if I'm reading that right, <laughs> to go back to beer, is a German style lager. Is okay. a German style brew. So no wheat. Just a yeah. Just a pure as can be. I feel like I mixed. It tastes like my hair. Coconut you? with the, just the normal. So I'm gonna try the normal. Okay. Even though I still taste licorice to a degree. I put that all out of my mind. I only taste beer now. My sister left without <laughs> eating falafel. I'm upset. I love falafel. How did she leave without, like... She's never had Greek food. Oh, wow. she's never... Oh, well, that's why she left without having it. That's if you've had issue. it, you don't leave without having it. Yeah, that's an issue. Yeah. No. Um. <laughs> the beer... Reminds me a little bit of the Nito Bandito, but better. But better. But better. A little clearer, maybe? A little less, um, a little lighter? A little crisper? Crisper. Yeah. A little less American. There's more depth Just, to the there, flavor There's profile. something that tastes better there. It's not as bright and poppy. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, God, the grains are just... Great, and uh, I've been drinking. Yes, yes, you have. Ugh. Um. Wow. I know this is going to be a weird saying, but it's like it, it tastes so clean. All right, y'all going to hate me, but it reminds me of Miller Genuine Draft. I don't wow. hate you. To each their own. We have a real German beer. <laughs> I, have, I didn't mean anything negative by it. That was what my dad drank, and that was like, uh, you know, when I was like a little kid, and I was like, can I have a sip of your beer? That's what I, that's what okay. I, yeah. What's that shit I like to drink on the weekends? The big bottles of... Corona? Familiar? Corona, Corona Familiar is very good. I'm always tempted to buy it. I get the old English 800. Mm. That shit... That goes. This, I could drink a 24-pack of this. Yeah. There's no Easy. way around it. Like, 
This is one of the more drinkable things I've had today. That's a big beer. It is a big beer. This is um I would swallow it no problems. No inside jokes. You sure? Because you, you dirty, left it wide open. Dirty bastards in this room. <laughs> um, it, it is. It, it's it's just a it's just a good old fashioned beer. Um, I give it a seven. I think anybody if 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 you're used to Melogen and Draft, if you're used to Bud Light, if you're, it, it's just it's right there along of any Pilsner out there. If you were if you're in the basic beer game and you're looking to step up. I don't know where you're going to find this, but that is a perfect step up. Yeah. Like, that's going to skip you three or four steps without you even knowing. And I I don't want to argue with with our guest here, but I really like that. <laughs> like, I, I'm serious. I could drink the absolute piss out of that. If you had a keg of that, I'm gone. See you next week. Maybe I'll remember. This is spectacular. I'm going to go with a nine on that. And nine. I've been trying wow. it and trying it. Wow. It's fucking good. Well, you've had two glasses, right? Wow. Maybe it's the licorice talking. So yours is a nine. I said a seven, I believe. Did you rate? No, I have not rated. But I'd rate this at like a six. A six. A six seven. It's just a I, I, I do I do like it. Um I like MGD. I or oh, okay. I liked MGD when I was younger. It takes me kind of back there. I like it. It's a nice clean taste. Um I might not go out of my way to look for it. To buttress your opinion, if you're in that ballpark, go with Corona Familiar. And if you like that over what you're drinking. Try this Rice Dwarf Kolsch. Yeah. This is the winner of the episode. If, if we were going to have a winner. But. This is a tough episode because this was. Oh, that, that was good though. This was good. The Nito Bandito and like the peanut butter that. beer were great. That, this okay. has mostly been great. Okay. That I IPA. Could bottom. you drink a six pack of this in one setting? No. Could you drink a six pack of? You said this one. Oh, I yes, could. Yes. That that one you probably drink a six pack of. Could you drink a six pack of that one? Personally, of the peanut yes. <laughs> of the peanut butter. Yeah, I'm. A I'm gonna say no on these two. I'm gonna say yes on this. I'm gonna say maybe here. To me, that that would win. So the IPA and the Flinsburger kind of fallen by the wayside. The 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 Flins or Flinsburger. It was really good, but this one has it. There's just something about this that's better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe because of the wheat beer, the wheat in this one. But our question, though, <laughs> he was going to come back to there it. There was a question: is, Does the writing or context of porn matter at all to you? Absolutely not. And I've wanted to write them. Doesn't matter though. You wanted to write porn. I've wanted to write, direct, all that, but now it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. I agree with that. It probably <laughs> there's probably nobody out there watching porn for the writing or the context of it. Here's the problem for me is most of the good porn is in this fucked up writing sphere. Okay. Like most Elaborate. of the the highly the women that I find highly attractive in porn they're all in, like, the family, you know what I mean? Like, fucked up. Oh, in the taboo. Yes. Okay. Mm. Well, I like that, so I don't mind that. I don't think the writing matters, though. No, no, the writing does not mm, right, matter. Doesn't matter. Situational and then go. I, I literally will look at the stills of the the people in the porn, and if if it the people are attractive to me, that's what I watch. I don't give a fuck. And you can just turn the volume down. Like, what does the writing actually matter? What an episode. Some good beers. I'm still tasting licorice. You have a piece left if you want to I'm drink. not eating the rest of Eat that it. licorice. That yeah. was horrible. Just like um, pistachio. Fake-ass pistachio flavoring. I love. So maybe don't take my beer assistance seriously. 
will help us keep the convo going by sharing our video. And we'll see you next time for another round at the Banter Bar. Peace. I was just leaving you a little sip in case you want to go I back. We'll see you next time on the Banter Bar.